Hello, this is Danny at Bradley James Classics and I'm going to show you how the instruments work on a 1948 Morris 8 Series E. Now, we have an ignition key uh, and you can buy spares by just looking at the code on the key and if you look closely enough, that's a union key. And on the back it's a, an F uh, an FA531. You can just get one of those on eBay, it will be sent to you and it will fit this lock. Now obviously at this age it's going to be well worn but um, it's enough to turn it onto the on position and you'll notice that we have some windscreen wipers going. I've just picked up the car uh, and the windscreen wipers turn on and off with these knobs here. So I'm just going to push that one in, that one stops. I'll push that one in, that one stops. If you want them to work again, you pull them out. They're very, very basic. Uh, and then obviously you can position them to stop in a little bit of a better position than what I did there. You can have them resting downwards. But that just shows you what that one there for and that one. And it is possible to have one working independently of the other. So that's what that one does. This here, now you don't want the windscreen wipers in the way for this. But actually if you do that, that will start to open the front windscreen. There isn't any uh, air ventilation in this car. So actually in the old days what you did, you used to open the windscreen a little bit. Um, even Land Rovers up to when they were last built, the old fashioned ones used to have sort of a, a similar couple of flaps that would open. There's no heating system in this car to um, keep you toasty, so be aware it's going to be nippy in the winter. Uh, they always were. Now that's an ignition light. Now I went to position one, ignition light on. You often hear a few ticks of the um, fuel pump. Um, now the fuel pump is next to the battery and there's an electric fuel pump. It makes a little tick, tick, tick noise. That just builds up the sufficient fuel pressure, feeds fuel into the carburetor and on away we go. Now, this one uh, has got a choke here. There's a little device which lots of classic cars have. It's a converted closed peg. You pull the choke out, you pop that there and it makes sure the choke doesn't go back in and it also gives it about the right amount of choke to start. So. Um, we make sure she's in neutral and we make sure the ignition is on, which means that light is on. And then we have this button here and let's give her a few revs as well. So we pull the switch, uh, pull this button out and we rev her and away she goes. Now there's a little bit of heat in this engine already where I've just taken out storage. So this peg can come off and that choke can go back in and then she'll tick over a little slower. There's our working oil pressure gauge. Now as you go faster that will rise as it is here. And there you go up and up and up and so will that gauge. Um, we have a working, we've got just over a quarter of a tank of fuel in this uh, car. Four speed gearbox, one, two, three, four and back and down for reverse. We turn the lights on. Now there's a big switch here. If you look closely there, that is side lights and that's your headlights. And then back on over this way to turn them off again. And over here, now that's the button that we pull to start it. That's the choke, that's the ignition light, windscreen wiper, that opens up the um, windscreen. Uh, we've also got a little switch here. Now that's for turning on, uh, you probably won't be able to see it here, but if it's dark, you can illuminate the dials by turning this guy around. And that's the other uh, wiper. Now here, that's the horn, um, and these are traffic aces. So I'm gonna open, open up this door. Uh, I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna show you that when I push that button, I get a trafficator pop up. Can I see it? There we are. And I will turn it off and it goes and then up. So traffic gators are old fashioned and they might not be entirely safe. Uh, so people put a secondary system in, that's what this button's for. This is an aftermarket, um, something that was fitted years later. You push it one way, that flicks. Push it the other way, that flicks. That is secondary indicators. And we know about the horn, we know about the traffic gators, we know about those indicators. Dashboard lights, choke lights that turn on and off here and a few of your gauges that we've just discussed well that was me turning the ignition off by the way so if the ignition goes back on and then I um, pull this button she's away again okay well I hope that um, goes over a few of the basics 
and uh, that's Danny at Bruddy James signing out. Thank you.